Hi, I'd like to briefly show you eFactory, an Eclipse plugin for objects. It's basically a DSL, a domain specific language for data structures and their graphs and trees. You could think of it as some kind of XML alternative at a high level not unlike say JSON, YAML, TOML or any other such notation but with a rich editor experience based on a schema or a meta model or whatever your community calls it. In this example let me use XCore which is another DSL for defining EMF eCore meta models to define a schema for for example some sort of family model. Of course instead of a family model this could be a UI model for a graphical interface builder or complex product configurations or something else. Um, I will create this with XCore just because it's easy to create EMF eCore models with this. Um, I could technically use any other uh, notation uh, compatible with EMF so I could do this with the eCore graphical editor but XCore is just handy. The way this works, and this is uh, another plugin, not the, uh, it's just something I'm using, not, not uh, actually related to eFactory directly. What you can do here is you can basically define EMF uh, classes like this. So say family. You probably don't want me to see it typing all this, so let me just copy paste it and explain it. All right, so basically we have um, a class family. Uh, families have names. Sorry, a class person. Uh, persons have names, genders, say age, people have friends. Then we've got families. Families contain um, members. Let's say family refers to a pet. Um, pets can be animals. Uh, animals are, uh, for example, dinosaurs, for the sake of argument. Um, and then cities contain families and animals. Okay, the point of the presentation is to show you how you can now create instances of this. Let's say. I would like to create a some families dot e factory. Uh, it'll ask me what kind of object I want to create. Well, let's say we want to create a city. In a city, what we are, uh, want to create is some families. Families, let me put this next to each other, it would be more logical. As you'll remember, cities contain families. So families plus equals a family. A family has a name. Flint stones. In fact, um, I can put the name directly after the object definition as well, like this. It then has members, for example, person called Fred. Fred is, God knows how old Fred is, 45. Um, let me copy paste a few more things into here. Same thing we could do, let's say, for Wilma. Um, let's say that as part of uh, cities, we said we can also define um, animals. So I can in here define animals. Animals can be, and here the, the syntax completion is a bit too wide. It should only propose um, dinosaur here, of course. That's something we'll fix at some point. Um, dinosaurs, might say this is a big dinosaur. Again, we can put a name here. Um, some of the interesting things this editor already supports is that it has an outline, which will need some improvements, but still, um, you can see here how you can jump around this. This also works with the inline outline like this. Control O. Um, it supports references. So, for example, references from the model instance to the meta model. In this case, if I control click on family, it'll show me the definition of family over here. I have three on dinosaur, dinosaur over here. Um, that's useful in development in use of eFactory models. What's more interesting is references between model instances. For example, of course, we said that families can have pets pet equals, and it knows that dino is one of the pets, one of the animals. You can F3 in this and jump to dino. Likewise for friends, for example, um, if I have another family in here, hang on a second, let me put the rubbles in here as well. 
uh, Barney has of course Fred as a friend so if I control space syntax complete the friends because friends if we just go back to the definition for a second friends refer to persons so control spacing here shows me all the persons um, that we know about Barney, Fred and Wilma uh, Barney is friends with Fred do this and go there uh, as you can deduce from this there's a rich semantic model underlying these instances um, for example if we do a navigate open model element we can see everything that EMF knows about xtext really knows about in this case this is the xtext index we can say give me for all the persons and you'll know that these are the different persons that are available all the animals all the dinosaurs dino comes up here um, and this will allow to jump so for example dinosaur dino it'll jump right there um, now in real life many models are spread over uh, a number of uh, resources for different files so if I'm going to create um, more families e factory here uh, let me put this under this here we could do what could we do we could put the rubbles with Barney outside we could say that um, Barney actually is defined in here uh, now this doesn't work out have to take this off this won't work because uh, yeah, what I can do here is I can say use family this is just a shortcut um, so that I can write family instead of family dot family the package family here um, and it doesn't know Fred because Fred is defined in here this should work with the xtext index I'm just working on making that work as it should for the moment we can do an explicit import here for some reason can't find it and now it'll work from Fred I can actually jump control F3 back over to Fred here this won't be necessary shortly all right um, basic point here is just to give a quick demo introduction to this e-factory um, on my blog there's a description on um, where this comes from many thanks go to acknowledgements to um, Sebastian Bentz um, uh, this is based on some work he did two or three years ago I've picked it up and made some improvements made it compatible with the latest text text version uh, if you think this is interesting I'd love to hear from you leave me a comment on the video on the blog um, if you can contribute to this project source is all on github all open source we'd love to have uh, others help me with this thank you very much take care